Hi everyone, how are you doing? My name is Martin. Welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. God, it's been too long. Um, so, previous episode, we freed Nick Valentine. And we're going to continue with that and getting a clue. Go to Valentine's Detective Agency. So we have to go, oops, to Diamond City. Uh, let's go, Nora. Um, yeah, I cleaned up the mess here. I could not barely walk and I cleaned up all the human remains. <laughs> so some in the corner here. There's an, uh, an old eye somewhere. And uh, yeah, so let's see. I do want to do some upgrading for my weapon now. I've also got a skill point to spend, of which I'm not entirely sure on where to spend it on. So I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. Um, gun at level 3 I can't do. I'm gonna have a quick look here. Um, I need to be level 25. There's not too many options I can put one in here, but maybe I have to hold on. Even could put one in a local leader. I am not sure. Not yet. Um, what I do want to bring with me is some trading stuff. Let's bring all the 38s. And also the fusion shells, yeah. I think that's a good, good thing. And uh, let's hey. see what Nora has with her. Um, she's carrying only a shotgun, so I can take all this. I can sell it. Uh, take all the junk. I will just deposit it over here. Excellent. She's got some. Um, oh, we might be able to do some upgrades actually. Um, yeah, let's check that out. All right, cool. Let me dump everything in here and quickly go over my inventory because I don't need this stuff carried with me. Uh, I think this is okay for now and I will sell all of this. All right, excellent. Now I was lacking some oil, but oh, oil, I don't think um, I could, I believe. Oh, there's this calibrated. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Superior damage, better critical shot damage and accuracy. That is not too bad, if you ask me. Let's do that. And what I can also do is this one. And uh, let's see. Yeah. That's pretty good. And um, I might be able to put a long, yeah, a long scope on it. Alright, well that's an upgrade at least. I can make these, but my adhesive is gone now. Well, did a few upgrades. Good, good, good. Let's go to Diamond City, talk to Nick, but also let's uh, check on the, uh, the market stands and see what I have. And one other thing, when I took Hangman's Alley, I helped um, the Diamond City guards here. What are they called again? See those big lights? City guards, uh, security. Right. Working electricity. And there was this guy upstairs who, oh, well, there it is actually, had a assault rifle. Excellent, we'll take that with me as well. All right, let's go to Diamond City. Let's see what they have. Also, there was some shooting out here. Look, yeah, there's some evidence. Raider scum. I'll take his stuff. Was he alone? Might have been. Hmm. All right, let's continue. See if we can do some good trading in Diamond City. It will be awesome. Keep moving, Scaver. <laughs> you call a scava. Scava. Right. Great. Alright. Huh? What's up, girl? Wanna talk? Hey, I'm ready. Huh? Hey, got a minute? Hi. Uh, what do you need? Sure. Anything you need. Thank you. You know and I know that between the two of us, there's nothing that can stand in our way to make this a better world. So, I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Ooh. But it depends. Do you more than like me? 
Oh, um, hang on. Let me... <laughs> Let me just um, change uh, some uh, stuff around here. Do I have anything that can add to my persuasion? I could... I could do this. I could. And uh, maybe I should. You know what? Screw it. I can't do any gun nut stuff, so... Alright, let's just hover over here. Alright, um, let's take the easy one. Alright. Yeah, well, she does look as beautiful as the day they we met. Sweetie, you look as beautiful as the day we met. Did I mention how much oh, I yeah. America? Yes. Even after all we've done, you've certainly made a difference to me. And the destination's not worth it if you're not a part of the journey. Because I don't think I'd be happier with anyone else. You still love me though, right? Oh, hi. Of course I do. I'm in love with you. And I don't think I'd be happier with anyone else. My marriage was the most important thing in my life. You've shown me how to be a better person. What you said to me before, coming from you, it means a lot. I realize now that I'm in love with you too. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Ooh, there we go. Till death to us part. That's a really good perk. Oh, excellent. Well, that's really sweet. That's a good start of the video. Nice. All right. Cool. We need to do. Uh, we we need to go to sleep, and you know. Hey, I think those Bobra brothers are looking for you. Let's crew them. <laughs> All right. You know, a shotgun's great insurance against raiders. But I got a lot of options here. Really? Show me. Let's see what you got. Feel free to test the grips. All right. All right. Let's see then. Um, does he have anything that I really want? Let's go over it slowly. And... I'm going to go and get later the... Um, what is it? The... From Fold 81. The Guardians, blah de blah. I don't know. We'll get that one for sure. Alright. Uh, I, w I w wish I was uh, doing a melee run, but. I got a melee character, very strong. Probably melee is OP in this game once you get a little bit further on in the game. Alright, there's nothing here. These are not so very good actually. I get my gear, I will find it. Yeah. Um, core and power armor. Um, no, I've got all this. That's fine. I don't need more ammo. I really like to sell my ammo. Um, could do that. Let's sell um, a bunch of ammo. That's 460. There. Perfect. All right. Except. Not much. Let's talk to her. You? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Whoa. Keep calm. I'm standing still. <laughs> That's exactly Careful, Nora. What a synth would say. But I don't know. Are you really uh, human? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a. Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. All right, Mirna. I've got a few minutes to browse. Odds and ends. All right. So, what we have here? No. Uh, there's a compensator on it, but I can build it. What I really need is um, oil. Like that. Uh, what's in here? No, I don't think I need that. I need oil, really, and this, and this, and no. She doesn't sell oil, no, that's too bad. There's no oil in here. All right, we'll take this. That's fine. Um, we can pay with, uh, with this, that's fine. It's um, less than I was hoping for. 
Alright. That's a deal. Alright, wasted enough. <laughs> Nora, be careful. Jeez. Wasted enough time for so this. Do I have a Nuka Cola with me? I do. You read the paper? You, Sheffield. Yes. Hey, Sheffield. Need a drink. Nuka Cola. Alright, and there you go. Here you go. That's sweet of you. <gasps> oh. oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, excellent. Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You. You mean it? Ah, uh, sure. That's right. I don't think so. <laughs> I. <laughs> Best of luck to you, then. You didn't run into any trouble, didn't you? Let's uh, check. Uh... Oh, Cricket! Oh, she looked like Cricket. Damn. I was hoping she was Cricket. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Oh, I still have my persuasion clothes on. Maybe that's actually handy. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Aye. Yeah. Every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking nice. for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Whoa. What's the blue stuff? If you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Hun? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. What else can you tell me? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility you were on ice huh more importantly you were underground sealed up There's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person anything else you remember there was a man and a woman they didn't say much but I remember they called me the backup so we're talking a small team professionals the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job not sure what the backup means, though. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And, of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Either way? I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The woman was dressed in, um... I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? The man who... He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it. But 
make that sound? Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? I... might have. I... Everything was foggy. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. It's Sean. It has to be. Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. All right. What is this blue stuff? That looks weird. Oh well. Excellent. Let's go, Nick. didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Hmm. Alright. This is master, isn't it? Locked tight. Yeah. I could have used that skill point, but... Let me, um, no, I, I'll keep my apparel on for now because I think I need to talk to the mayor or his assistant. All right, Nick. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. Aye. Let's, uh, just stand casual here. How are you, Nora? A heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Well, I'm sure I can't. No way I could pick this. Nope. Nick. Hmm, we can't get through that door. No luck? Guess we'll need to find a key. Alright, let's go to the mayor's office. The distance, the nope. city entrance. That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Alright, check. We're on it. Let's go, Nora. Let's visit the mayor. See what he has to say. I was given them. Um, where is it? I don't need a strange code. That's perception. I don't need that. But I was given the fedora. That's perception as well. Don't need that. I need charisma. That's right. All right. Later, girl. <laughs> she can teleport up. Damn, I need a better suit. This is really dirty. But, um, uh, we'll have to do. Ooh. Why does the mayor come out of his office, huh? He's afraid of talking to the press? I bet if I said I was with the Institute, he'd come running. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me.
reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? Sup, Piper? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's gonna be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more... responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. That's right. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I... I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. I'll talk to the mayor then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Best of luck. Thanks, Geneva. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Yeah. Nora has a fetish for doors. I don't know, man. She's opening every single door that she comes through. There you go. That's <laughs> door number three in one ah, minute. Ah, yes. I remember you. Our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? Hmm. Let's see. Um. Nick Valentine wanted me to see you. Did he now? Some investigation, I assume? You two aren't trying to get me into hot water now, are you? <laughs> A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. Oh, of course. I, I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. Nice. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talk to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. Right. Well, thanks, McDonough. I didn't expect that. Nora, let's go. Hey, go check that out. <laughs> All right. So I don't have to bribe Geneva after all. Cool. Alright, Nick, we're coming. Damn, it looks good. Messy, but good. Come on, let's go. Awesome. How did you get down here? Tell you, Cease has a ways with teleporting. Oh, oops. Hang on. Yeah, that's better. A bit thirsty. Alright, Nick, I got the key. Did you say anything? Of got the key? Aye. Right, let's head in. You do the honors. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. All right. Well, let's loot everything as well. And then uh, we hit the button over there. We can uh, do it right now. That's one <laughs> way to hide a room. I'll just do is uh, do a quick save here. You're pretty distracting yourself. Ooh. Oh, hang on. Did I get the buff now? Let me quickly check here. Um. Lady killer, no, 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 no. Till death do us part. Yeah. There you go. Cool. I didn't know you get that for one hour sleep. All right. Ooh, me like Nuka Cola a lot, and of course purified water. It's in here. Nice. 
High pistol I don't need. I'll take all the ammo. And the nougat cherry. Iguana bits? No. And take the menti. Oh, yeah. Gas canister. Beautiful. Sugar bombs. No, 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 cherry. Take that. More oil. Good, good. All right. When it's stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Mm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. <laughs> Anytime you need help, just come knocking. And there he is. Reunited together at last. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. Alright, getting a clue completed. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode will be definitely gunfights and stuff but for now thanks so much for watching have a really great day next episode we're going to do the reunions we're going to follow dog meat and see where he takes us but for now have a great day i'll see you later bye